we are going to talk about the Comrades Marathon route, specifically the up run. And if I was to give you any advice at the outset, is that you should go and drive the course if you can. And in that way, you will get the right dose of fear and the right amount of respect that this course demands. Look, it's a tale of two halves, the Comrades Marathon course. And the most dramatic changes on this course take place between Durban and Drummond. The second half is a lot more forgiving. Now, in running terms, what that really means is that in the first half, you must go out carefully and go out conservatively. And in the second half, you then can make up for any lost time that you lost in that first half. The start can be overwhelming and it's big. And from the gun, depending on where you are seated, it can take anything between 7 to 10 minutes to cross the start line. And my advice, first piece of advice here is don't panic. We'll make up that time later on on the back end of the course. The other piece of advice that I can give you is take with you a drinks bottle with your mix of water or and coke or whatever you take. When you run past those early tables, then you can run past them and you can steal one or two of those lost minutes. But the important thing is do not panic at the start. The pull out of Durban is relentless. And the first thing you will do is run onto the highway and then run under Tollgate Bridge. And you should feel it as, a, as an easy, easy pull. Yeah, you must check your running schedule, check your drinking and check your pacing. It's important. And before you know it, 15 kilometers into the run, you will meet your first named hill, and that is Cowie's Hill. It's the easiest of the big five. It's two kilometers long. It's about 100 kilometers high, and it has a difficulty rating of about two out of ten. But... You can feel confident once you have done this because it means you've then tackled one of the great big hills. But then you run down into Pine Town. And here is the first danger point because the crowds in Pine Town are exuberant. And there's always the temptation, like I would do, is you want to show off. Don't. Be careful. This is a danger point. And here you should have planned walks and in fact you should have a planned walk at least every hour and you should have walked within the first hour of the comrades marathon run anyway at the end of pine town it's time to take one deep drink and look at the hill that is before you it is fields hill it comes 22 kilometers into the race it has two or three, maybe four twists and turns. It's very difficult to see the top. It's over three kilometers long and it's 185 meters high. It earns a difficulty ratio of six and a half out of ten. And definitely you should have some planned walks of this monster. Talk to others relax. The next hill is going to be 13 kilometers away, but before you even get there, you run up through the tree-lined avenues of Kloof, and then you run up the long pools and through the excitement of Hillcrest. 35 kilometers into the race, you are going to meet the next, the third, of the big five both is hill and it should feel as an as a pull as a nice easy pull a steady pull and i know 
that if it feels that way, I'm going to have a pretty good comrades for the rest of the way. Near the top is Kersney College. Uh, the choir turns out in their school uniforms and their straw bashes. And they are in full voice as they pull you over this hill. And it's a good place to be. Uh, both this hill is about two, it's just over two kilometers long. It is about a hundred meters, over a hundred meters high. And I give it a difficulty ratio of five out of ten. But once you're over this, that's 750 meters that you have climbed over a distance of 40 meters. And in any seasoned campaigner's book, that is a monumental amount of climbing. It's a good place here to take stock, check how you are feeling. You have about five or six kilometers to go now until you get to the halfway mark at Drummond. And it's a nice then, it's a nice downhill run as you run past the Comrades Marathon Wall of Honor. Um, we'll talk about that later. You go through, you go past Arthur's Seat where other traditions are played out by seasoned runners. You need to take a flower put it on Arthur's seat and wish him good morning. And then you run into an absolute sheet of sound as you run through the excitement of Drummond, the halfway mark. Oh, oh yes, show me those hands. We love having you here. And the Hollywood Bits halfway line. Oh. Done. you've made it through Drummond that means half of the race is behind you but more importantly more than half of the climbing is behind you so it's a good place where you take stock have a look at your drinking but more importantly have a look at your race schedule and hopefully you haven't got ahead of yourself at this point ahead of you lies an important and tricky hill and that is in Changa. Somewhere along here you are going to pass a marker board that will tell you that you only have 42 kilometers just a marathon to go. It's a tricky hill. It is the graveyard of many hopes and dreams of comrades hopeful so caution once again it's a hill that is two and a half kilometers long. It is 140 meters high and it lies 47 kilometers from the start. So, but once you are over this, the major part of the climbing of the Comrades Marathon is over. On the other side of Inchanga lies a great surprise. And that is the Entambeni School for the Handicapped. And the entire school turns out in their wheelchairs, on their crutches, to sing and cheer you through a tunnel of noise. Uh, for me, it's difficult to pass this point without shedding a tear. It is great for spiritual upliftment. But ahead of you, lies Harrison Flats as you make your way to Cato Regent Camperdown. And this is a place where you can make up a lot of the time that you may have lost in the first half. So you will find it a lot easier here as you make your way into Camperdown. Camperdown, people turn out in their thousands to cheer you through. And now it is a good time to allow those crowds to pull you along. After Camperdown, there are three hills. I call them Hop, Skip and Jump. The first one, Hop, is the hardest. Um, but it's time to take it easy there. Don't worry, more downhill is coming along the way. 
but here you enter into the real soul of the Comrades Marathon route where there are stretches of hot naked felt. But sooner or later you will get to Umlas Road. Umlas Road is the highest point of the Comrades Marathon route and over on the other side of this point you can see Peter Maritzburg in the distance and you can also see that gargantuan hill that stands like a bastion at the front of it, Polly Shorts. But from Umlas Road, again, as you go down into Tumble Inn and down into Ashburton, it's a great place where you can make up some time that you might have lost. But as you make your way down after Ashburton, beware there is a trap. And that is that there's a place called Little Polly's. Many who do not know the course are taken by surprise, believing this to be the real Polly Shorts, but it isn't. Polly Shorts, the real Polly Shorts, is only a little way further on. And believe me, there is no mistaking Polly Shorts. You go around a little bend, you cross the Umpushini Bridge, and there, right ahead of you, is Polly Shorts. No one runs Polly Shorts. I have, from the press truck, seen even the race leader walk this race. So just take it easy, and once again, don't panic. It's almost two kilometers long. It's 120 meters high, it's very steep, it twists and turns three or four times. I give it a difficulty ratio of eight and a half out of ten. It is most definitely the most difficult of the, of the hills on Comrades. But once you are over this, uh, you know that all you have to do is go into Peter Maritzburg and fetch your medal. But, before we get there, the race is not completely downhill after Polly Shorts. There are still seven kilometers to go, and some of them can be a little bit tricky. But finally, as you make your way to Scottsville, you'll be encouraged by the the crowds that are outside, it really is great to run into that final stretch as you make it down the Scottsville Strait and to the finish line. Mm -hmm.